Hey, 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 guys, this is Hawkeye, and I am back with Kajino Ri. Yes, I did go ahead and get the other DLC. I believe it's called the Voyager DLC, and you can find that. Let me check here. I believe it's under, where is Premium? Uh, yeah, right here, Ocean Packs. It's called the Ocean Voyager Pack. Now... I know that's a lot of money. It's still another $40, but let me tell you something. It gives me 30 more days. I can complete the mission, get a lot more XP, level up, and plus I get a whole bunch of extra gear, including two new rods, a bottom rod, another uh, casting rod, and two good size reels. So I can use all of these in the Amazon, which I will be unlocking soon. I am seriously close to leveling up to 68 here. So I think this was well worth my money and my time at this point. All right, we are almost there. So let's go ahead and get ourselves back in here. Now, we were just about to finish the Fish Founder 360 Big Fish fine tune before I ran out of my time so we're gonna have to go back in here and finish this up and I'm gonna go ahead and create a club room all right we're here and there's the dude over there but I'm gonna put that away first so I don't poke him in the eye perfectly calibrated the fish finder 360 is installed and your tablet firmware is updated with new functionality. Let's check it out. All right, not bad. 13,700 XP, 53,000 cash, and a bait coin. Big Fish Fine Tune is completed. Congratulations with the Fish Finder 360 setup. You are ready for the most epic fishing adventures. We will claim that. All right, new mission Fish Finder 360 Harvest Weighty. Awesome. Well, this is the last one, guys. Embark on a race against the clock in this final mission on calibrating and testing devices. You have to catch plenty of fish within a specified time. This challenges your proficiency in using perfectly calibrated tools like the map, echo sounder, and fish finder 360. Show off all your skills. It's three bait coins, a trophy zen line braid, 0 .0369, trophy trolling octopus, and trophy squid chain. Not bad. Yeah, I could definitely use more of that line. Let's go ahead and get this started, I guess, guys. Click OK. Or details. Just check details here quick. So I need to get the mission to fill the fish storage within a limited time. Complete the mission. Wait a minute. Maybe I clicked the wrong thing. Hold on. Okay. No, I don't want to leave. <laughs> Let's check the missions again. What? What's that? It doesn't say untrack mission, so... Okay, here's your final challenge. Test all the devices. Get the mission to fill the fish storage within a limited time. Okay, there we go. Tying Fishing Derby. Fill your boat's fish storage with as much fish as possible. Your goal is to focus on the total fish weight. Use your skills and equipment to catch the largest fish in the waters before time ex run expires. Dive into the adventure and prove that you have great sea fishing skills. 15,000 XP, 60,000 cash, and a bait coin. 
and a Kaji no Re Advanced Japan license? I thought I already had that. Okay, whatever. Yeah, this time we'll hit okay. <laughs> Alright. To earn rewards, you really have to put in effort. However, with perfectly calibrated devices, filling the fish storage will be a breeze. So we need to fill the boat's fish storage with 1,763 pounds of fish. That's actually not too bad. That's not really that bad. Well, I th this is our new boat. It's a little bit smaller than the other one. I've not tried it or gotten in it yet. So this is going to be a little bit different. There's not nearly as many. Well, it's pretty much the same as the other one, except a little simpler. Yeah, it's only got room for three people. So it's got six broad holders instead of eight. I guess we'll go ahead and take it out and get this started. And I hope somewhere down the line that they eventually have other deep sea locations so that we can... Yeah, we're taking a look at that. Everything looks, everything looks pretty good. It's a little, like I said, it's a little simpler than the other one. You're not way up high either. You're at sea levels almost. So it's not a bad little boat. Alright, we're going to need to go to the Tuna Highway, guys, if we're going to make this happen fast. I'm going to go ahead and fast travel. It's right up here by Sand Island. And here's all the markers I've placed. To, there we go. And away we go. Well, that didn't take long. <laughs> I don't see any birds. I usually see birds. Huh, that's interesting. Yeah, just because the birds aren't there don't does not mean that the fish aren't there. But it does make it a little easier. And usually when the birds are there fish are actually jumping so yep here we go and like I said we only have three fishing spots I'm gonna sit here up in the middle can't do that in the other boat we're either off to one side or all the way in the corner yeah I do not see any birds at all so I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna basically use this trolling octopus and the squid chain this is a three ounce scroll trolling octopus I like the rainbow ones they seem to really get their attention and the squid chains seem to get their attention too especially the yellow tuna elephant tuna which I still need a unique one so maybe this will be my chance to get a unique one I won't let this go out to about 80 feet should work and I'm not getting a bite already am I uh, maybe I don't know I usually want to make sure that they get it a little bit better than that though we're also using this bucktail it's a one three ounce three quarter ounce six aught I don't know if there's anything here that's going to go for it but we're going to give it a try anyway all right, well, I guess we'll go ahead and get this thing rolling. I do see fish there. So, even though we don't see the birds, we are seeing the fish. So, I guess what we'll do is we'll head for those markers. Let's see if anything takes, a, takes on. Yep, see there's fish up at the top, too. See, I thought I saw something jump. But I'm going to take it down to 4%. 
That's kind of my preferred speed for trolling. There we go. Now I'm seeing some bigger ones. Anything from 3 to 5% is good. 4% is just my preference. But, yeah, I'm not seeing anything jumping. That just seems to be white caps. All right, well, we'll keep at it. Hopefully something will buy here. Oh, there we go. We've got us a bite. Actually, it did take too long. Let's go ahead and slow the boat down. There it goes. Yep, yep, we got something. Dag. Okay. There for a minute, I thought maybe he was going to really take off with it. Yeah, this is not just a tuna hot spot, but also a marlin, striped marlin hot spot. And these waters will also produce quite a few uniques. I've managed to catch a couple. I have yet to catch one on the screen, though. So, but this doesn't seem to be... Well, he's going to make a liar out of me here. I was going to say he doesn't seem to be that big, but... He is keeping me... Keeping me busy. But yeah, some of these marlin can keep you fighting them for... Well, the last unique kept me fighting him about 20 minutes, and that's real time, not in game. So, if you get a unique Marlin, you better be prepared for a long fight. Same is true with the Pacific Bluefin. I don't know about the Yellowtails yet. Dang on, what is he doing? I got. Holy crap! He just suddenly made a break for it. I thought I was... I thought I had him. I'm not sure that it's a marlin. Marlin do like to bolt out like that, though. But usually, if it bounces all over the place, that's also a good indicator. Let's see if we can't force him in here. It's not working very well. There we go. Come on. Come on. Almost there. Almost there. Come on. You are going to... You little dickens. Look at that. Yeah, I almost had him there. Okay, we got him. We got him. Yellowfin tuna. It is a yellowfin. Very cool. 14,274. 116 pounds. Not too bad. He's common size, so he's not going to bring a butt ton of money, but... Still... Well worth it. There's our first fish. We've got our start. Yeah, I don't know if this bucktail is going to do anything out here. If it doesn't get anything, I will probably just go ahead and reel it in. Shoot. <laughs> I always do that. I try to press W and end up hitting E and shutting the engine off. <laughs> I hate when that happens. Alright. Yeah, we're... We need to turn a little bit more, but you can now see the fish on the sonar. They're definitely surface fish. Still no birds. So our best bet's just to keep turning towards those markers. 
Because if they're going to find them, they're going to be there. Keep an eye on the rods. Alright, let's come over here and watch this rod because I thought I saw it bend down a little bit. I could be wrong. Yeah, it could be something as simple as the water pulling up against the lure. What is that? Well, oh yeah, we definitely got something. We need to slow this down. Do you see that big swell in the water? What the heck was that? Yeah, there it is again. Is that what we've got or something? And we got us another good one. Yeah, this probably won't take very long. Now, on the big boat, I've been out just a, you know, maybe about a two or three hours of real time and filled the boat before completely. So, this is only half that. I mean, I know we got to do it in three hours, but I don't think it's going to be a problem, honestly, guys. Especially if we get some really big fish. It's going to make it go quicker. And this one is definitely not a small fish. Looks like he's going under the boat. And I think this might be a marlin, guys. Do you see how it keeps bobbing up and down like that? That is very very typical behavior of theirs. If it is though, it's not a huge one. Probably a common size one. They're still hellacious fighters though. Yep, there's that swell again. Alright, we might have him. We might have him. Yep, we got him. Yep, there you go. I told you. Yeah, he's not a monster. Only about 124 pounds. Only 124 pounds. <laughs> 70 inches. Yeah, but look at the cash. I want to get a pick look at him. Now, see, he's not super, super large, but still, good sized fish. Now, that's just a common size one. They get a heck of a lot bigger. I think the only things I've caught on screen was trophy size, but look. Look at the cash value, though. $25,550. They bring in a ton of cash. But yeah, he's probably a modest sized common one. 124, eh. They come bigger even at that range. Alright, let's throw this one back out. Yeah, I think I'm going to pull this one in. Yeah, we're not after Mahi Mahi, and it seems like that's what this is really best for. There are a few other smaller fish, but it's not really for big fish. So we're going to get a plug here. Go with this light one. Yeah, they like those plugs, too. Alright, let's...
let's get this crate moving again. Ah. I'll be darned if I didn't turn the engine off again. Alright, let's head on straight ahead. Yeah, we got us another bite here, guys. This time it's on the plug. Good thing we switched. Didn't take too long for something to go after it. I think we might have one on the other one. Jeez. Okay, this is definitely a big fish, too. This one's going to be a heck of a fight. It might be yet another marlin, guys. Yeah, I'm going to put this down and check this one. because uh, We did have something on it, but it didn't quite get all the way latched on. I thought I'd check it, but we'll go back to this one, so no big deal. I know that was a little bit risky because it could have gotten off due to low line tension, but I just wanted to be certain. And whatever this is, is really big. Because it is, it is going. It is going and going and going. It's already out to 300 feet. And it's seriously holding its own out there, too. Yep, I think we might be on this one for a minute, guys. Several boring minutes later. Alright, guys, we're finally, finally making headway on this. This has been one heck of a fight. I don't know what this is. It might be a marlin, I don't know. It could. It's fighting a lot like one. But... Every time I think I've got him in, he just keeps taking it back out. And that is seriously typical behavior of theirs. But I don't know. We'll see here in a moment what it is. Oh, it's a Pacific Bluefin. Holy crap. Now, this is common size, guys. 286 pounds. Look how big he is, though. <laughs> That's a big fish. 256 pounds. That gives you an idea what the common size looks like. The trophies are the biggest fish in the game outside of Gruperzilla. 81.9 inches. Yeah, like I could sit there and hold a fish this size in the palms of my hands in real life. But 41,892 cash. And 14,000, I'm sorry, 198 XP gained. I've got to be close to leveling. Yep, I was here to say I must be close to leveling up. New level 68, new pond unlocked. Amazonian Maze Brazil, which we can use those rods at. That's, what's, that's what I was trying to do. What I was trying to accomplish. We've unlocked all this gear, too. There's a more powerful bale arena. I definitely needed that. I am going to purchase one of those. Oh, and look here. These dual swim baits. I've never seen them that small. Usually they're much bigger. And red one, too. Oh, and we've unlocked flat spoons. Small ones. All kinds of cool things here, guys. And what the heck is that? Blue winged grasshopper? Never seen that before. Hmm. Interesting. 
Yeah, I'm not sure where the where you use that one. Well, let's go ahead and throw this out again because we are well on our way to getting this done. That's good. Well, let's get this thing moving again because we need to get these fish. Oh, check it out, guys. I see birds again. And I think I hear some fish jumping, too. Okay, let's get this turned a little bit this way. Yep, there are the birds. And there are this, there's the tuna jumping. Oh, wow. And I think those are yellow fins, too. We're going to plow right down the middle of them. And we've already got a bite. That didn't take long. Not long at all. Alright, let's go ahead. Oh, we got them on both of them. Yep, we definitely have them on both of them. We've got... Wow, he is definitely taking it out. Well, maybe we don't have the other one. I thought we had two. But yeah, the fish are still jumping around us. No, we might still have that one. I don't know. We'll have to... If it keeps biting, I might just put this down and try reeling on that one for a minute or two. Come on. Yeah, we're making a little bit of headway. For some reason, it's like he hold me fast right around here in distance-wise. He keeps going back up to... Oh, there he goes. He's making a break for it. Several moments later. Alright, guys. This took a lot longer than I expected. He took it out past 250 feet. And I had gotten him in quite a ways, but I think we got him this time. As long as he didn't make a... Well, <laughs> maybe he's going to do it again. There he goes. I had him almost in. Yeah, this guy, I really kind of underestimated early on. Not quite sure if he's a marlin or some kind of tuna. Heck on, he's doing it again. I had it like, I think 22 feet. Come on. Almost there. Come on, almost there. Don't do it to me again. Do not do it to me again. I said don't do it to me again. Okay, we got him. We got him. And it's a trophy yellowfin tuna. Awesome. That's what I'm... Uh, that's not ex absolutely what I wa wanted to get. I want a unique, but... It's still 192 pounds of fish. Look at that. 31,669 cash. 15,551 XP. Lots of XP here, guys. So close to a unique... Let's take a look at him though. He's still a very big fish. That's going to get us about halfway to where we need to be. Isn't that a pretty fish? Gorgeous animal. Make a nice sandwich. Or steak actually with these guys isn't it? Yellowfin tuna steaks. I'm sure some of you guys like to eat sushi. 
No, I'm not going to eat raw fish. I am a, I'm a biologist, and there's I've seen too many uh, things about eating raw fish to ever attempt that. <laughs> I know it's probably safe, but, you know, no thank you. <laughs> no thank you. Yeah, we got plenty of jumping fish again. Oh, and I think we got two rods bent over there. Let's get this slowed down. Do I see both of them? Yes! For sure this time. Okay, which one? I will try this one. Whoa, there he goes. Seems like I've noticed that a lot. It's like they'll be taking it out really fast and then they stop just after 200 feet. Ah, uh, so I wish now at this point I could get both rods. <laughs> I guess if you had a buddy in here with you, he couldn't grab the rod for you. Probably not. Now this guy's going to give me a bit of a fight. Oh, there he goes. He's going to take it out again. Yeah, it'd be nice if you could get them both. That way you could throw them both in at the in the hold at the same time. Well, this may be a minute. I think I'm gonna put it down and try this one for a little while. Wow, it's running out too. Let's see if it stops at 200. Yep, same thing. A little bit more than the other one, but... I think we lost the other one, guys. Shoot. Oh, well. We got this one. Can't get them both. Yeah, we would have fought the other one way too long. And this one seems to be coming in, so... Well, seems to be. Or has he? I don't know. I'm not entirely convinced he's off there just yet. This one's kind of being a pain in my butt. <laughs> Don't get off of there. Okay. It's starting to look like his tension was going down. That's a big thing that Tuna loved to do. Drop that tension real quick and get off the hook. And it could be any type of Tuna. They all are tricky about that. Man! Come on, man! And that other rod's bending again. A few moments later. Alright, we're finally making some headway on this guy. Oh, we got him. Awesome. Yep, another striped marlin. Now, this is a common size one, too, but as you can see, he's much bigger than that last one we got. 38, 798 cash, 10,100 XP. Yeah, there's 60 pounds difference between them, and they're both common size. Yeah, we are well. Yeah, we're definitely more than halfway there at this point. Well, guys, I'm gonna recast this out. This is gonna take a bit of a minute, so I 
hope this episode isn't too long so far. I've been trying to take out as much stuff where I'm actually fighting him. Because there's not much going on there except me going reeling and letting him out and reeling and they, them taking it out and blah 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 blah. And I definitely don't want to bore you guys to tears with all that, but I want you guys to see the good aspects of the fight and the fish itself. Look at them, guys. More yellowfin. Well, so well they were there. <laughs> Got a cruise ship over there. Kind of close. I hear them. I'm just not seeing them now. Okay, we'll just see if we get another one here. Okay, we got something here, guys. Let's slow this thing down. I didn't really want to stop the boat, but... Okay, here he goes. Let's see if he stops at 200. No, he stopped earlier than that. Uh, maybe he's going to be manageable. Or... Maybe, maybe not. I don't know here. Yeah, if you hook into like a young Pacific Bluefin... They'll give you a little bit of a fight, but they're usually pretty pretty readily brought in. I'm not quite sure what this one is just yet. I don't know. I'm starting to think it might be another Marlin, guys. It just keeps bobbing up and down, but he's not taking off with it, so... Maybe another common size one? Yeah, he's coming in. Uh, don't know, though. Look at that. Look at that. He's taking it out pretty good. A little longer than a few minutes later. All right, this guy surprisingly kept me pretty busy. He never got much over 200 feet, but he has been keeping me at bay for quite a while. I think we got him this time. Come on. Come on, deck gonna get in here. Oh, nice. A trophy stripe marlin at 209. Point twenty two twenty one pounds. 17,784 XP, and look how much we've already gained just in this short period of time that we've been fishing in XP, guys. We're going to level this up really fast. Yeah, 44,260 cash. Yeah, this place rocks as far as leveling. Look at this guy. See how much bigger he is than the normal size ones? That's a trophy. Decent fish, huh? Good picture of him, too. I know I've got pictures of these already, but... I can't help it. <laughs> this is going to be my last excursion for the maintenance mission, so... I want to get plenty of pictures. All right. Uh, we're well over a thousand pounds. And actually, in reality, if we got two really good sized fish, we could actually complete this mission. And I doubt that's going to happen, but we'll give it a try. Uh, 
And let me turn the boat around, though, because we need to hit back towards the buoy. And the birds. Oh, wow, we got another bite. I think, yeah, yeah, we do. It's off the plug. Let's slow this down and get over here and grab this guy. Now, usually you don't get that many bites when you're turning the boat. And the other rod bent down too, but yeah, unless it goes down and stays down, usually you don't have anything. At least not deep sea fishing and trolling. I'm not sure what this is, but it seems a little more manageable. So far, anyway. Yeah, something keeps pulling it down on the other one, though. May end up having to check it just to be sure. But I'm not letting this one go just yet. I definitely have one on here. And we might get him in. He seems to be coming. Bet you anything it's a young bluefin. I bet it is. I bet it is. I was right. Young Pacific bluefin tuna. This is a baby at 112 pounds. <laughs> Still 15,135 cash. Not the greatest XP, but... Definitely some serious cash, and he does add to the pot. So I'm not complaining. Let's get this thing going again. Let's see if we can catch two really big fish complete this darn thing. Still got to turn this boat around though. Alright, I think we're about lined up here. There's the birds. Yep, and there's fish jumping again. That's where we need to head. After I grab this rod. <laughs> yep, it's definitely bent over. Let's take it back down. Zero, and grab this rod. Plug again, huh? Bang on. We are just rocking it, guys. Barely have time to take a breath. another decent sized fish well he may not be as big as I thought he's coming in pretty easily actually well getting the second wind A little later. All right, we have finally got him in here. Did take a few minutes with this guy, but I think he's coming in now. And I think it's another striped marlin, common size. Just by the way he's been fighting me. Yep, we got him, and I was right. Another striped marlin at 158 pounds, 32,547 cash. So he's moderate, moderate sized one. Well, 
we're going to slowly get to our goal, I guess. <laughs> I was hoping to get something really big to kind of finish this off. But we might still get lucky, guys. I have to keep looking at those rods because I swear to God, it doesn't seem to waste any time. Let's get towards the birds and our jumper fish. These, these look like Pacific bluefin to me. Yeah, we might get lucky and get a really big one. Oh yeah, look at these fellas. Holy crap. They are e uh oh. Alright, did we get a bite or did he give it up? I think he gave it up. Let's just keep heading towards him. Wow. Look at them all. That is so cool. I think they really outdid themselves on the graphics for this. Okay, I think we do have one. Let's take it back down. It's the first rod, the squid octopus. And he's running out with it. quite sure he's don't think this is a striped marlin he's not it's not bouncing all over the place and he's coming in fairly easy could be another well we did see Pacific bluefin so it could be what we got as a young one Yeah, we got him. Yeah, I think it's a Pacific Bluefin. No, it's a big eye. I'll be dogged. 102 pound big eye tuna. I mean, he's roughly the same size as a young Pacific Bluefin. <laughs> Maybe that's what I saw jumping. They looked like Pacific Bluefin to me. Of course, it's quite a distance. Look. And I shut off the engine again. Back on it. <laughs> I keep doing that. Ugh. All right. Let's get this crate moving again. We're seriously close now, guys. I know this has been a very long episode, but... This is a very important episode. Because this is the last mission. Ah, there we go. We got another bite. Yeah, I've been seeing a lot of them jumping again. Alright, this guy's taking off too. See if we can't get him in as quickly as possible. Okay, wait a minute. What is going on? Okay, he's. Yeah, he was running off with it pretty darn fast there for a minute. Okay, this this is a pretty good fish. This might actually complete our mission. We might get lucky here, guys. He just keeps me at bay here, and he's oh my goodness, look at that. He is pushing his way to 300 feet, and he's. 
doing it. Holy crap. Look at him go. Holy crikeys. That's a marlin, guys. That is a marlin. For sure. At least trophy size, so I think he's definitely going to complete our mission. But he is still taking it out. Oh my god, guys. I think we might have us a unique one. Yes, yes, we. I'm, I'm almost certain we do. I've caught two unique mar striped marlin, and each time they did this, they took it out to 500. Yeah, we got us a unique. Oh my god, we're going to be here a while. <laughs> we are going to be here. A long while. The last time I fought one, it took me about 20, 25 minutes real time to get him in. Well. No, he's just going to keep, keep me at bay and he might bolt again. And that's exactly what he's going to do. Well, I don't know. He's seeming to let lay off a little bit here. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Keep going, keep going. And a little bit more. little bit more and there he goes again and yeah, maybe not I don't know guys either way I think we're gonna be here a minute unless we get lucky Under, well, we were under 200. And he's still fighting us. And there he goes again. Holy crap. There he goes again. Look at that, guys. Look at him go. Holy crap. Yep. Yeah. This is going to be a while, guys. Sorry. <laughs> this is going to be a while. Much, much, much later. Alright guys, I decided since we're getting somewhat close, this is like for the bazillion time, he took it out past 500 feet five times. It's 644 was the maximum he took it out. But I think he's finally wearing out. Been at this for 25 minutes. No joke. The longest I have yet. But I think we finally have him. Well, maybe. Come on, you bugger. Don't do this to me again. Do not do this to me again. Get your butt in here. Ah, got him. Finally. Yes! Unique stripe mark. New personal record, guys. New personal record. 102,574 cash. 457.6 Three six nine pounds, one hundred forty point eight inches. This seventy four five seventeen XP gained. I'm one third of the way into my next level. That was so worth it. So worth it. What a way to end this, guys! Because that definitely completed our mission. 
God, he's so huge. He fills up the entire screen. Yeah, I just can't get over all that XP. I don't think I've... I, maybe Guru Brazilla was higher. I have to look, but... Look at this fella. Jesus. Can I can barely see the top of my head. Absolute monster. 457.369 pounds. He is only outsized by the group Brazilla and by the Trophy Pacific Bluefin. Third biggest fish I've caught, I'm sure. Without a doubt, I'm sure this has got to be the third biggest fish I've caught. Look how big this guy is. Gotta get a picture of him, for sure. Beautiful fish. Get another one. Jesus. Yeah, I can't even see my head now at all. Yeah, he is big. Lord. Look how long his his little uh, sword is. And we've done it. Mission accomplished. Time fishing derby. Fantastic. You completed the challenge and filled fish storage in record time. 15,000 XP. 60,000 cash, Kaji no Re advanced license, and a bait coin. Just throw that in. Fish finder, 360, harvest weighty. We got all our gear. All right. Well, it looks like we have to talk to the port administrator again. So, I guess we'll go ahead and go to the map here. Uh, fastest way to get here to be jump over here too, and then jump back. Yep, we managed to pull it off, guys. Hello, dude. Great job. Well tuned navigation map, Echo Sounder, and Fish Finder 360. Thanks for helping. Mission accomplished. There we go, guys. We've successfully fill, filled the fish storage and fully unlocked the potential of the Fish Finder 360. We got the trophy Zen line and the trophy Trolling Octopus, 1 ounce, 3 aught, and the trophy Squid Chain, 8 inch, 5 pieces. Let's claim that. And we got the gadgets galore done, too. The administration is delighted with your help in calibrating the equipment for the rental boat. Now you have a detailed map, high quality echo sounder, and super accurate Fish Finder 360 on your tablet. Well done. 25,000 XP, 300,000 cash, 3 bait coins and trophy plug, 1 16th ounce, trophy single hook filker, 2 1 8th ounce, 4 aught. Trophy Bucktail, one and a half ounce, three aught. A Trophy Snapper Sinker, nine ounce, and an Administration Award. Let's claim it. Awesome. That is great. That is it, guys. That's all the maintenance missions. There are no more. The only thing left is to complete all the species. Yep. We are done. Well, that took a while. <laughs> took the entire length of the first DLC and I had to get another DLC just to finish it out. But we will have no problem getting getting our next monster, that's for sure. But yeah, that boat's going to be nice to use. I'm going to try to do it, use it to go out and catch all the ones I haven't caught yet. But before I forget, I should be able to put that marker for that fish on here. Yep, there we go. Unique striped marlin. Yeah, I definitely want to get his marker down. 
Because I may fish there yet again. See if I can't get another one or break my record. Let's see here. Let's take a look at what we have in here. And we still have 359, 357 cash so far. And we still got room in the boat to fill it. <laughs> So I might go off screen a little bit and finish filling up this boat. But yeah, it looks like the max fish weight is 551. So I don't even think I could have kept Grouper Zilla if I used this boat. I would have had to have the other one. I mean, am I wrong on that? I don't know. Let's see. Yeah, he is definitely third biggest fish. Group Brazil is the biggest at 600. Pacific Bluefin at 552. And then the unique, well, it keeps popping down. The unique striped marlin at 457. That just blows my mind that the trophy giant grouper isn't bigger. Because the unique big eyed outsized him. Which I kind of just don't really believe. I think I might have caught a trophy giant grouper, yeah, but I don't think they—I don't think that was the biggest that they can get. Well, guys, that is it of the maintenance missions. It's time to move on and catch some other species. Try to finish this thing out, because there's plenty of them. I've need looks like seven more. I need a unique big fin reef squid. The unique green job fish. I need a unique mahi mahi. That's going to be tough to get, I bet. And I need both the trophy and the unique ruby snapper. Those are really tough to get because they're such deep fish. And last but not least, a tro unique skipjack tuna. Which kind of surprised me I haven't got one. And of course the yellowfin, on it. As much as I was out there, I'm surprised I did not get one. But we will. Well, anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Please be sure to share, comment, like, and subscribe. And I'll be back with another episode of Fishing Planet. Until then guys, as I always say, aim straight, cast far, and have fun. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.